Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun with Fu. and last time we went back up to Vale and visited for a spell and this time we are going to choose our own destiny by totally going to Lunpa and uh, <laughs> ignoring Lady Hammond's orders. So let's go right up. Ah, I love this tune. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know. In my opinion, this is probably the best music from the game. Actually, we're gonna put reveal on L, because I'm used to having it that way. Hey, you gonna let me in? What's with you? You wanna enter Loompa? Well, yes I do. Well, you can't! Go back to where you came from, punk! <laughs> and one of these guys will try to enter from the cave west of town. Well, the gate there is too heavy for them to lift anyway. No worries. Hmm, well, thanks for telling me about it anyway. You're not from Kale, are you? No, I'm from Vale. That last group said the same thing, but we didn't trust them either. Now, leave now if you don't want to get hurt. <laughs> Even if they enter through the cave, they can't get into town. The gate in the cave can only be opened from the inside. Well, no way I'm le leaving Master Hammett to rot in there. So let's check out this cave that they say is an impenetrable way to get through. Wait a minute, so that pushes it down, but I see a little silhouette of a man. No, I see a puddle here. Let's use some frost and da 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 da! Well, that was pretty easy now, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright, so we're in Lunpa. Awesome. Have you been in Lunpa, Lunpa long? Yes. Hmm, your face doesn't ring a bell. I guess you just don't really stand out. Hope, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping. I think I'm just hoping we can get through Dadonpa's, uh, what you call it, Dadonpa's area without being found. I think that thief Dadonpa is a terrible man, but it's not fair to blame the Lumpens for it. They need our care too. I <laughs> like. I like this voice. I'm gonna give everybody this voice, even this little girl. The chef has been from from the inn has been delivering meals to the fortress daily. He says security is very tight, even inside the fortress. <laughs> you wanna see Dunpa? Uh, yeah. Dunpa's in the fortress. You have to go there if you wanna see him. But security at the fortress is very tight. Nah, I'm good actually. I didn't think so. It's impossible to see Dunpa now. <laughs> Dunpa has no idea what the Dunpa's doing. The village would change if Dunpa heard about Dunpa, the Dunpa's evil deeds. Oh my god. <laughs> my late grandfather traveled the continent with Lumpa. He would be very sad to see the things the Dunpa's doing now. Oh, wrong button, but whatever. I want to see any goodies. We may live in Lumpa, but we'll never work for the Dampa. That's good. I don't have to kill you then. <laughs> Isaac looked in the oven. He's making thieves stew. Mmm, it has a very distinct scent, I bet. Sounds like good eating. Wow, this is actually quite a big town. Pretty much as big as Kale. The righteous thief Lumpa and his son Dampa, they were great men. But Dr. Dumpo, such a dick. Got another nut. The Dumpo can do his evil deeds, but how can he live like this? If he makes any money, he's passed around to his poor villagers. Yeah. Well, we should start a riot. The fortress will build their numbers room. My best of baby fortress, the world not even that could sneak in. Aha! Uh -huh. Found another. Here, yeah, Chef is the only one who down who can to the fortress. Yeah, I don't. Ugh. Oh, it was in the wooden box. Okay. Oh, that's not that's not cooking. That's just a fire. <laughs> Had no freedom ever since the caravan came to the village. Can't leave the village, and no one is allowed in. I hate it. I want to go get my nails done in vault, but they won't let me leave. <laughs> Ooh, more cooking. He's making thieves cookies. They're in the shape of Dodonpa's face. <laughs> Our 
Harper passed away long ago when the world was hit by a huge flood. Lump had gone south and we never see it again after the flood. Wait a minute, was he traveling with Hammett? It said the flood claimed any life required the continent. That'd be, that'd be a real shocker. Or not Hammett. Lump was caught in a great flood while traveling with some of the baby. Ah, that's who it was. Babby, not not Hammett. Got a name Babby anyway. Sounds like a Babby. Oh man, it's fun to do this voice. <laughs> I show you as much army as you need once the rivers are dry open. There's a sheep. Can't buy or sell anything. Dompo doesn't care about my business. I bet he doesn't. You should riot. Take down the oppressive regime. Ooh, lots of boxes. No goodies. Oh, one goodie. Ah. Reveal is the most used synergy ever. It's true that the Dwampa came and I extol ransom for him. Yeah. Then I guess that Dwampa's man was telling the truth. Dwampa is too old to lead, so his men do whatever the Dwampa says. Ooh, synergy stone. Good thing there's no inn. Cause well, oh wait, there is an inn. You know it's weird, weird though. I think we can actually be like. You want to sleep at my place? You must be kidding! Go rest in your own home. <laughs> yeah, even though there's an inn, we can't even use it. Dr. Umpa made a pretty penny for himself by capturing Hammond, but he doesn't care what happens to us villagers at all, at all. Do you want to hear about how I delivered meals to the fortress? I was blindfolded and guided along a cool path. I walked for a while. I heard my footsteps echoing, so I must have been an underground path. And that's it? God, you're useless. I feel bad for that poor man who got locked up in a dungeon. But what can I do? I'm just a, I'm just a lonely shit. Oops. Now I'm squished him. I keep mixing him up. Doesn't matter how much we clean away for customers. No one will come. At this rate, I'll be fired before I know it. How will I feed my baby? <laughs> All right, and there is one more thing we can do, which is freeze this. Oh, not halt. <laughs> not halt. We can freeze this. Jump across. Jump across. Jump across. Jump up, jump down, jump across. <laughs> Go all the way around. Those guards not even noticing that we're up here. Use reveal. And there's a thing here. Oh my god. What is this? What is this? What is this? That's a bunch of goodies, actually. So let's... That we're actually not supposed to have access to as far as I remember. Let's just go ahead and take everything. Because we get them eventually. So, why not? I think we actually... We find out, out about this a bit later. I think from Donpa, actually. Might as well take him now, because, I mean, we're not going to be actually doing much for a while up here, because as you will see in just half a second after we go talk to this herbal lady, because we haven't talked to her yet. No goodies. They bought a lot of stock, which is why we're ho they're holding up. But I still feel bad for them and all their lost business. Wait, for who? Who? Oh. I can buy from you at least. Good. Good, good, good. Because I want sacred feathers. I'll be buying ten of them, thank you very much. Because I know I'll need them. And let's go try and see if we can save Hammett. What? Don't come any closer to the fortress! How can the Dompa be so devious? I can't believe he is the son of Dompa. Well, let me in then. The Dompa is a genius not releasing Hammett. He's so smart. It's a great way to use Hammett to keep extorting money from Kaylee. Oh, you like that he's devi devious. Not even a mouse could enter this fortress while I'm on the watch. Oh, damn you. Who'd have to be a shadow to sneak past me? 
Well, I guess there's no choice but to go to, to go to Tolby for now, then. Oh, well. Sorry, Hammett, but we actually can't do anything for you right now. I'm really sorry about that. Oh, well. <laughs> it's fun doing those accents. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, one thing before we move on. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I'll meet you guys in just a minute. Actually. I think. Maybe. Perhaps. Get out of here. Because there's something I want to grab before we go on to go Tolby. Which is right up here. So I'll see you guys in a minute. This is one of the best design choices I've ever seen, this stone path. Anyway, here we go, Billabin Cave Entrance. Now you remember last time when we were at Billabin, we went up this way, using growth. It's not malignant, uh, non, -malig non malignant, I swear. And jumping up across the river up here. And you'll remember that when we went down here, we found out that, well, there was no way to really proceed, that we could just go this far and there was a chest and nothing else. But, lo and behold, now that we have Reveal, we can find out that we can actually go farther. And now that we have Mia, we can use Douse. Get through a bit more. And we're up here, suddenly. And we're gonna find out that this is the way that we get to all those goodies that were out of our reach when we first came in. And by goodies, I mean this door. <laughs> I thought there was another chest that we got to. Let me check the chest, get a water of life, and a Psy Crystal. I mean, it's not much, but it's important to point out. Because I know I there have been times that I forgot about it. So we're just going to go right out and be done with it. Alright, I'll see you guys back when I get back towards Kale. All right, see you in a minute. I'm telling you, this stone path is like one of the best design, design, design choices I've ever seen because, I mean, it's supposed to be a straight path through the cave. But then you see that there's a landslide. But when you're coming back through a second time, you don't want to have to worry about going through the entire cave. And you don't want to think about, like, which path you're supposed to go down, so you just follow the, the pebble path. Fantastic, and I'm glad that they did it. Alright, hello guys, and welcome. As you can see, we're back by Kale, and we're actually going to be going to these, the Kale docks. <gasps> and remember how last time I, we were near the ocean, up near the northeast, I told you guys, remember that, remember that line that Creighton had said about, Oh, Garrett, sometime you'll see the ocean. And we pass by the ocean, I'm like, remember this. Remember this. Well, here's where it pays off, because... <laughs> Incredible! So this is the ocean crane was talking about. I've never seen one before in my life. <laughs> Except it's not an ocean. <laughs> the Karagol is surrounded by land, so technically it's not a real ocean. A true ocean is totally open. Aww. What? But this looks just the way Kraden described it. 
I can't wait to see a real ocean. Yeah, someday I want to see a real ocean, Isaac. Oh my god, I love that line. That is by far one of the funniest lines in the game. I don't think it's meant to be. <laughs> but anyway, we are at Kalei Docks, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Mioix Fu, and we will make our way across the ocean to Tol- well, the inland ocean, the inland sea, to Tolby. Alright, so, yeah, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun with Mioix Fu, I think I said that, but I said that last time twice as well, so, whatever. Take it easy.